Hey my beautiful Aries, it's the Gem Fairy here and today we're going to be tapping in with your love energy, okay? What's going on in your love life and what is to come? We're going to see what it do, okay? Um, but before we get into all of that, I want to let you guys know that I'm having a crystal giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So make sure that you click like, share, and that you subscribe to my channel. And also hit the notification bell. It helps the channel. And then you also get notified whenever I post, okay? And you want to make sure that you tap in with your girl, okay? Also, I have, um, my website is up so that way you can purchase your crystals or you can book a personal reading with me, but only on my website you can do those things. So check the description box below because all the information is there for you. And let's get into this reading. First, we got to pray. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, Please give me the correct messages for the sign of Aries during this time in regards to their love life. Please also protect them and cover them with your white light. Thank you so much. All right. So what's going on with Aries? And they love that. the king of wands that wanted to come out. So please. Ooh, ooh. It's looking amazing. It's looking amazing. Oh, this is actually like this. So you have the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands to me looks like moving towards common waters with um with someone that you love, someone that you feel will help you get the house back there. You see, this person is carrying all these sticks, which is carrying all the burdens. So you will no longer be doing that. This is what you're not going to do. This is what we're not going to do, Aries. We're not carrying no more burdens. We are smooth sailing. Like, this is the vibe. This is the energy that I'm getting. This is how this person feels about you. Whatever burdens that you have, it's like they want to take it all away. They want to commit to you. This this is the Hierophant card, which talks about commit, sorry, commitment and signing contracts, etc. The Sun card talks about happiness, total bliss. This is the happiest card of the deck. So you have total bliss. You have someone trying to come in and help you with whatever that is stressing you. It could be finances. It could be anything. Whatever. Something that you're trying to do creatively could also be that. This is the judgment card. So this is something being resurrected. This could be um, a passionate feeling that they have for you. This could also be somebody that you was already with. So this card to me is like resurrecting a relationship that didn't work out in the past but i'm feeling like this is somebody that you were just talking to but you didn't really like it didn't go anywhere and it's nothing nothing bad it's just that both of you had like two different things going on in your lives so that we you know so that's what blocked y'all from being together so it's, i'm feeling like it's somebody it could be it could be for so many people it's that with the people on youtube you know look, looking at these readings so it could be for anybody but if this is the person that um that's from the past, this is a person that you wasn't with. This is a new person, like in regards to 
how they are. They are brand new in a good way. Let's see. The devil. A bond, a strong connection, a soul tie. Very, very strong connection. Tell me about this devil card, please, with the Ten of Wands. What does that mean? Page of Cups. This person is so scared and terrified to come towards you. But they will. Because they look at you like they're twin flame. Okay. Okay, Aries. This is Arrows of Love. You got a lot of passion in this reading. There's a lot of fire going on here. It's a lot of everything, but I'm seeing the wands, the four of wands, and then at the bottom of the deck, you got the knight of wands. This is your other half. This is the person that you want to be with. This is the person that is going to stop you from self-doubt. This is the person, it could be a Leo. This is the person that is going to show you the ropes when it comes to love. Like, they're going to teach you how to love because you don't know Leo. Um, Aries, yeah, it's definitely Leo. <laughs> it could be a Leo. It could be any time. Other messages you have for Aries during this time. Let me send a message for Aries there. Aries. Aries. I got love. Oh, wow. Y'all seen that right? Let's see what, what fell. That is the page of Timothy. Okay, so what fell is the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you. It could be a fire sign. It could be any sign. But that's just what this card is. This is a Taurus card, in my opinion. Um, so it could be someone that is nurturing, someone that is stable, someone that is going to show you that you are their world and like they made the choice already. You don't got to think. You don't got to guess. You don't got to doubt. You know, this is the person. And this person could also be a Libra because I see the scales. But this person is coming in with reciprocity. And that's what you want, Aries, okay? You want somebody that's going to reciprocate your love. You want somebody that's going to reciprocate everything. Everything's 50-50. It's no 60-40. It's no 20-80. None of that. Okay? Any other messages for Aries? Any advice for Aries during this time? Any oh. Two cards came out. The advice is to be loving and welcome the love in and just have a lot of fun right now you want to celebrate you want to live life you want to do the things that you that you think is going to be fun you might want to go out have some drinks do some things with your friends but be social during this time the more that you're social the more you're going to attract the person that's for you because they're probably trying to find you and they haven't found you yet because remember this doesn't have to be someone from the past this could be a past life relationship it doesn't have to be somebody like it doesn't have to be somebody that you already dealt with. This could be somebody totally new in this realm, but you already dealt with them in the past life. You get me? So. <sighs> what other messages? They might like to eat a lot of salmon. I see a lot of salmon. Or you might, you might meet this person, or you might have met this person during October, like during the fall season. I'm seeing a lot of fall. Are we in fall now? No, not yet. It's coming. But you might meet this person in the fall or you might have like a date with them. Or like you might go out with some friends and they might be a friend of a friend and y'all all together having like a double date or something like that. Okay, that's what I see for y'all. And it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but that's just what I see. Oh my God. Nah. Bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Cups. Are you fucking kidding me? Like... This is the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And then this is the Knight of Swords. This, this is coming in really fast. So this is probably before. This might be before the... um. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. This might be before October. This is coming in like really soon. So get ready. Be prepared. Okay? This is, a count, this is your divine counterpart. This is like the other half of you. Oh my goodness. Twin Flame. Remember? Remember I said it was a Twin Flame? Everybody is like coming together with their Twin Flame. This is crazy. And beautiful at the same time. All right, let's see what the numerology deck has to say. Okay, okay. You know what? Gosh, the 
Careful. All right. Messages we have for Aries for during this time. And the back to the love life. Messages we have for Aries during this time. And the back to the love life. The end of your tough cycle approaches. Yeah, because remember when I said when they come in, they want to take all the burdens away, all of that stuff that was stressing you out. Look, this is you carrying those burdens, and they want to come in and take all of that pain away. Okay, but remember. Don't let, don't like sit there and expect for somebody to do everything for you. You got to do things yourself. You got to heal yourself. Everybody came here to do what they have to do for themselves, okay? So make sure that you heal yourself. You can help other people heal, but don't make that your only job. You got to focus on you because if you're not 100% yourself, then it's like your battery. You, you trying to give 50% of your battery and you only have... 60%, you get what I'm saying? Or 80%. And then what do you have left after you get 50% of your battery? Like, that's what I look at it as. So just be mindful of that and show the world the real you. Because, come on now, it's time. And look, after that, a time for healing. Yeah, so they're going to come in and, and help you heal. This is so beautiful. Full moon in Aquarius and Balsamic moon. And we just had a full moon in Aquarius. So this means that this is... This is starting, maybe you just met them during the full moon in Aquarius, or maybe you're meeting them like now, because it's still like the energy of the full moon right now. And this is a really, really good reading, Aries. I hope this resonated with you, and if it does, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel, and I'm trying to just help as much people as I can while I'm here. Like, that's the goal. The goal is to help people. The goal is to do things for people. If I can, like, you know, if I have the ability to do something that God gave me a gift, then I'm going to use that gift because why not? Like, that's being stingy with my energy. And I think that's really corny to not do it if I can. And I'm not charging people for it. It's free. YouTube is free. I'm not getting paid for these videos. But if you would like for me to do so, <laughs> like later on, then, you know, just liking, subscribing and sharing my videos will help me get there because, you know, this is a lot of work and this takes a lot of my energy away. Every time I do a reading, it like, you got to cleanse yourself after, like, every time. So it's a lot. It's, it's draining. But I love to do it because I love to help other people. And that is the goal. But thank you so much, Aries, so, so much. I keep saying the same thing over and over because I'm really, really grateful for y'all. So just um, make sure that you don't forget about that giveaway. And just when it comes to love, just, just um, welcome it in, okay? You gotta welcome it in. All right. Later. Love y'all.